If you have been fascinated by Whisper for transcription of audio and video files and you are missing the one feature which is to do word level timestamping, look no further. You have got a new library called Whisper X. Whisper X can help you use Whisper and make word level timestamping for you, which means every single second or every single word will be aligned with the right timestamp. Why is it important? How are they doing it? And how to do it using a Google Collab Notebook is exactly what we are going to start seeing in this video. Welcome to One Little Coder. In this Whisper tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Whisper X, a new library by Max Bain to do word level timestamping of transcriptions that we do using Whisper. Now, what is it? So this repository refines the timestamps of OpenAI Whispers model via something called forced alignment with phoneme based ASR models like Wave2, Vec2. If you know originally, Whisper is a much, much better model than a model like Wave2, Vec2. But what Whisper does not do well is it doesn't do word level timestamping, which means sometimes Whisper could be inaccurate by several seconds and that could be avoided by something called forced alignment, which is a process that refers to uh, aligning the transcriptions to audio recordings to automatically generate phone level segmentation using another model, in this case a phoneme based ASR model like Wave2, Wave2. We are not going to get into the theoretical details of how this is done. We're going to get into the practical hands-on experience of how to do it for your own use case. I've prepared a Google Collab Notebook for you. This Google Collab Notebook will be linked in the YouTube description so you can straight away get started. The first step is you have to check whether you have got the GPU. If you do not have GPU, click runtime, change runtime and then select GPU accelerator. After you know that you have got the GPU installed, the next step is install Whisper X. The next thing is install Whisper. At this point, you are very well to go ahead, but just make one final check, which is see if you have got FFmpeg. Most likely if you're using a Google Collab Notebook, I'm sorry, Pipe FFmpeg. If you're using a Google Collab notebook, most likely you've got FFmpeg installed. But if you're doing it on your local machine, make sure that you also install FFmpeg. This is required for certain audio file format changes. Next, when you run the cell, it's going to ask you to upload a file. I've got a file that I've uploaded. I'm going to play this file for you first for you to understand what this file is. Let me play this file for you. As you can see, this is a clip from the Joe Rogan podcast where another very popular podcaster Lex Friedman appeared. And this is a conversation between Joe Rogan and Lex Friedman. Just a warning, if you're below 18, this clip has got some, you know, um, uh, swearing. So do not watch it, maybe skip it, whatever. But um, if, if you're if you're a grown up, just, just go ahead. So this clip, as you can see, this even this caption that this somebody has added for the YouTube short has got only sentence level caption like as you can see it doesn't highlight word by word but rather it does only the entire sentence but what we are going to do is we're going to take this clip and we're going to emboss um, a completely new caption we're going to burn the new set of subtitles that are highlighted word by word or you know two three words together not just sentence word by word subtitle transcript timestamping is what we are going to do and i'm going to show you the output first how it looks before we move forward with the code so let me get the output for you which is just coming right up that's yours now that that's an omega and that has a moon face as you can see, the caption is placed on top of the video and the green color gets highlighted, the word. You see the, the moon in the bottom of it? Yeah. That is the actual moon phase. It's a real high resolution photograph of the moon. And as the moon rises, it will rise. Is It's set in the position where the moon is currently. Oh, well, that's awesome. Fuck yeah. Take that piece of shit, stupid fucking frisbee you got on your wrist. You can't, you can't get this back because you no, just did it on yours. record. I it's yours, this. man. What is this? It's just a steampunk watch. The yeah. fucking stupid thing. <laughs> erases it and erases it every minute. So dumb. <laughs> but that watch, that watch is my favorite watch. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. 
as you can see it has done a tremendous job in mapping every single word to the right moment in terms of milliseconds or microseconds and you are going to learn how to do the same thing right now which is a very simple cli command invoke whisper x add the input file in this case the input file after you choose file and upload it you would see the same file appearing here and copy the name keep it safe for you add the input file name once you have the input file name the next thing is you can use the model parameter to say what is the whisper model that you want to use in my case the input is an english input which means i'm using a medium english model but if you have got multiple uh, multilingual then use a respective whisper model the next thing is you're going to define the output directory where you want the output to be saved and then finally the alignment where you want to specify which alignment model to use once again if it's the english model you can just sorry if it's the english video clip or audio clip you can simply use this default one but if, if it's a different one then use the respective wave to vec2 asr model that will help you to do alignment or forced alignment for that respective language the next thing is just run this and for the first time when you run this it is going to download the model but after you run this thing it's going to be fast i'm going to show you the file at the end of this process it's going to save two files one is the srt which is the normal subtitle file the second one is the as ass file which helps you do this colorful subtitling which is something that if you have ever seen a movie with mkv file this is how they add subtitle to that so you can see how the subtitle is uh, at a timestamp level you could see the highlighting take is highlighted here and then you could see what is then highlight this is highlighted here then you can see that's highlighted here so this is how this highlighting works and it's pretty good it's pretty good for english language at least whenever i've tried so now at this point we have successfully got the subtitles ready so if you want to just stop this video here and then go produce more subtitles you are very welcome to do it but if you want to burn the subtitle to the actual video file itself let's say you are a creator and you want to add the subtitle to your youtube shorts or instagram reels or tiktok or whatever social media where you upload the file then this is the section that you need to be now you do not see a lot of text customization in this part that i am leaving it to you if you want to customize it ffmpeg is a very popular library so you would see a lot of help in customizing the text that we are going to burn on the video itself but if you just want a simple solution now you have got the ass file ready so invoke ffmpeg which is a shell command not a python command a shell command even in the case of whisper x it's a shell command then the input i and the input file which is the dot mp4 then dash vf and then you give what is your ass file and then you give the output in this case dot avi once you have this thing run this it's going to generate the output file and you can download it and then start using it in your vlc media player or any media player that can run a video file that has got ass file embedded on it so i'm going to show you in real time for another video and you're going to see how to do that so let's go ahead and then run the cell again so this cell i'm going to run it and it is going to ask me to upload the file so i'm going to go here paste the file and the file name as you can see is new underscore video dot mp4 so right now this collab you need to hard code the file name and i didn't want to delay the video so that you know uh, you can start using it but i might improve this collab in future days to make sure that it's very easy for anybody to use it right now you need the video file name copy the video file name which is new underscore video dot mp4 copy and paste the file name here and also you need to mention uh, later on when you need to mention the new file name so right now run this thing it is at the end of this process it's going to save two files one is the asrt file the second one is the ass file i'm going to show you the clip first so that you know what is the clip what do you think happens when we die I know that the ones who love us will miss us. As you can see this is the clip for which 
we are going to transcribe and you can see it is doing a great job what do you think happens when we die keanu reeves i know the ones who love us will miss us and now the perform the alignment is being performed let's see how well it does once again you give the input video name video name yes then you give the file ass file name and then you give the output just when you give output make sure that you are not mismatching the extensions now run this this is going to create the output file for us which in this case would be called new underscore video underscore out dot avi let me refresh it and we have already got the new output file so i'm going to download the file and i'm going to save it so once i get it to my local machine i'm going to open the vlc player which right click the file and open it with the vlc player And as you can see, it was quite accurate at word level. So you can even see Keanu Reeves lip movement and then see how the words look. This is not quite possible with whisper out of box, but thanks to Max Bain and uh, the new library WhisperX, this is quite possible using WhisperX. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in getting word level timestamping for your subtitling or transcription using Whisper and WhisperX. I'll link this Google Collab notebook in the YouTube description. If you want any extension of this project, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, give a shout out to Max Main for this amazing repository, which might look you know simple, but it is doing a tremendous job. A lot of people have been asking about it. So thanks to Max and thanks for watching this video. See you in another video. Take care. Stay safe.